In this video, I'm going to be introducing GitHub, the remote functionality of the Git version control system, and we're going to do one command having to do with all this, which is the clone command. We saw in the last Git video all about how to record all the changes to a set of files inside a folder, a repo, over the lifetime of that folder. And all of these actions that we were doing inside of Git are all self-contained inside your computer. In this video, we're going to expand our viewpoint to include other people working on the code and other places where we can have the code. Before we talk about GitHub specifically, let's talk about the generic idea of a set of repos across several different computers. Everything that we already know about a repo on a single computer still holds true, but we're going to be talking about these repos in several different places. In Git, one project repository that's on a user's computer is called a remote. And these remotes can be connected together depending on which user wants to collaborate with which user. For us, the arrangement of remotes and repos is going to be coordinated through GitHub. And this is going to be the centralized place where we keep all of our code. All of the work we're going to do with Git and with repos is going to originate from github.com. And that's the place where we're going to store all of our repos in the cloud. Let's begin by talking about the Rocket Academy account and the fact that each account on GitHub, yours and the Rocket Academy account, has repos inside. So any account can have any number of repos. Now let's come back to git clone. This is a command that you run on your command line that downloads a repository from GitHub to your computer. So you're going to run this command on your computer. It's going to download a copy of the repo. And so this is not just a copy of the code. It's also a copy of all the commits and the record of all the changes to the code. So let's go ahead and run all the commands. To begin with, for consistency's sake, we suggest everyone create a Software Engineering 101 folder inside of their Documents folder to hold all of the code that we're going to create. So I'm going to do that now on the command line. My current directory is my Documents folder. So I'm going to create a Software Engineering 101 folder. And you can see that I created it over here. I'm going to CD inside. And now we can talk about GitHub. We're going to download a copy of the starter code using git clone. And I can find a link to that repo in the main page of the Software Engineering 101 Git book. That's the page that you get to when you click on the upper left hand link. So on this page, I can scroll down and click to go to the GitHub repo page. On this page, I want to click on the code button here, and I want to copy the URL of the repo into my clipboard by just clicking on this uh, clipboard button right here. On the command line, I'm going to type git clone and then paste in the repo URL. If I just hit enter, then it creates me the folder with all the code inside of it. If I run the same command, but do a space and then give a name, then it creates me a folder with that name, also with the starter code downloaded inside of it. Now you know what GitHub is and one of the things we can use it for. In the next video, we're going to talk about taking the commits that we have on our laptop and putting them onto the GitHub copy of the repo.